everyone. Um, I would just like to say that this is my very first YouTube video, so be very kind, please. Um, also that this will be a video based on my opinion of Project Life, clearly, um, junk journaling, and smash booking. Um, I basically want to talk a little bit about each one. I'm, I'm not going to make this super lengthy or any kind of flip through, like, whatever. I'm just going to kind of hit the high points. Um... Basically, I just noticed that there were a lot of videos out there and a lot of reviews and nothing seemed to be very informational as to why someone would or would not want to partake in whatever particular activity it was in terms of this crafting bonanza. Um, one thing that I love about all of them is that they're not scrapbooking. It, for the first time, it it gives those of us out there who don't particularly love the rigid conformity of scrapbooking, um, but we really like to document our lives going on and all that without um, the rigid idea of scrapbooking. I can really figure out what I want to say. Um, so I'm going to start off with my junk journal. My junk journal is quite a number of years old. It's almost 10 years old, honestly. Well, it's a little bit short of 10 years, like four years short. So it's about six years old. Um, this is from 2008 to 2009. It's not completed. Um, it's a very long story as to why it's not, but it's not. Um, they were given to me by my AP art school, art my AP art teacher my senior year of high school. Um, one thing I am going to recommend, if this is the route that you choose to take, please save yourself some trouble and get a nice, lovely um, book cover. Um, it makes a really great pocket, as you can see. There's tons of stuff still in there that I never did actually smash book or, sorry, art journal, junk journal. Um, I wrote all over the cover with fun quotes that I love from songs and books and such as that. Um, as you can see, it ripped the binding super split. I don't know when. Um, I've actually had this packed away for a very long time and ran across it and decided that I would do a video about the three at some point. Um, this is just bunches of stuff that didn't go into the pocket that I wanted to journal about or what have you. Um, a big thing, I'm just going to flip through and kind of explain stuff. Um, basically the one thing that I, I wrote a lot that day apparently um the one thing that I really did like about this idea is that there was no conformity there was no pre-paged nonsense I could put everything in there from my math notes to random paint swatches apparently projects um all kinds of just really fun stuff it really is a cool depiction of like my train of thought maybe at the time these are postcards from an art festival um it was just a little bit of everything back then which I really like um but like I said it's not finished it's not it, it probably won't be finished for a very long time if I ever choose to visit it again I may just leave it alone and let it be because it is a wonderful piece of my life that I kind of want to leave unfinished for personal reasons um but yeah, I, I like that it, it's not very conforming. You have white paper in yourself. I would highly recommend if this is what you choose to do, please go out and get yourself a mixed media book that's spiral bound. If you can find a mixed media that's leather bound or clothes bound, be my guest. But spiral bound may be the better thing because you can rip out pages if you need to, if it gets a little thick. Um, and you need to kind of thin out some things. I've seen a lot of smash bookers recently rip out some of the pages that they didn't love so much or even glue together pages um, that they didn't love so much. So there's there's lots of different options. But those are just my um, good and bad of that. If you have more questions, please feel free to post or ask. Um, I would be happy to answer anything. So we're going to move on because my phone battery is dying <laughs> very quickly. Um, this is my smash book. Um, as you can see, it's pretty freaking thick. Um, it's, it's still got quite a ways to go. Um, my fiance and I have been together for a year and a half and I really wanted something to look back on as we got older. Um, and as our relationship continued, just to look back at all the innocence of the first couple years. Um, with that being said, it is the wedding themed book from Smash. I did take the, um, clear cover off of it which if you learn anything else from this video please figure out a way to like just cut the pin thing off so that you can get it in and out 
you want to keep that because it would like clearly you can see how it got stained so I don't really need to explain that I don't feel like but anyways um I digress I chose um this one obviously because it's relationship based so the wedding one made sense and our wedding details will be in here um as we continue um these were just some wedding ideas that I had clearly um this is Christmas. Just all kinds of fun stuff. I like the fact that you can flip through and it's at different points in our life. Like it's not in any particular order. I really just picked a page that would um, be the most conducive to whatever I was journaling about. And I really took the initiative to not um, deal strictly in just smash products. Like I really did go all out and try to use the most amount of embellishments that I could from what I'd collected, not even purchasing anything. Like this little thing is, um, it was a little gift bag that someone gave me for Christmas at work. And so I used it as a pocket. Um, just being very resourceful and thinking creatively is just very important. It lets your creative muscles definitely get a good workout. So my advice on this is that you keep your clear cover and that you're very patient um, with your creative process and learn different cool ways to fit stuff in there. Um, some other things that I would definitely want to advise on are even though I can fix the binding with some duct tape, I don't know if I will ever do an, um, wholeheartedly do another smash book because this is taking a lot of... Um, I'm not so much worried about the time or the work. What I am worried about is this is going to be a display piece probably on a coffee table for a couple of years. Um, and then once kids are created and all of that, I really don't want to have this out. And it'll be very hard to package and hide away somewhere um, after that point because it will be so gargantuan. And it will probably not close and sit on a bookshelf as easily as maybe that would. So, um, that's my only really big criticism towards it all. I don't particularly enjoy the fact that my, my love of it was that it was pre-made and that kind of took the guesswork out. Um, now I'm kind of regretting it because it does make things very difficult sometimes because I love a page just the way it is sometimes and I don't want to journal over it, but I know that to fill the book in to be effective, I'm going to have to, um, so I just have mixed emotions on it to all together. Um, I have... Every single Smashbook ever made, um, not only that, I have two of every that are ever made and some three if I really loved it. Um, so I have plenty of Smashbooks that I'll get through. I was just not a big fan of them discontinuing it and mean maybe never finding one again. So I just kind of stocked up. So that's my feelings and I'm rambling. So we're going to move on. Um, this is about a two day haul um, from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I'm actually quite pleased and very excited to start this project because after quite a few Pinterest finds, YouTube videos, etc., I discovered that it was not nearly as excruciatingly awful as I thought Project Life was. I thought it was just kind of a scrapbook for dummies and I thought it was kind of ho-hum. I liked the paper and I thought it was pretty, so I bought it to go on my Smashbook. But after a little bit of research, I found some really cool ideas and decided that it would be a very good fix for the problem that I was having with my Smashbook. And also with Smashbooks, the fact that they're themed makes it very difficult for me to change what I'm Smashbooking. So, like, I wouldn't put my crazy day at work in my wedding relationship Smashbook. Um, however, I would probably put it in a journal or maybe Project Life. Who knows? Um, but it gave me an opportunity to have something of my very own and to be as ADHD as my general train of thought tends to be. Um, with that being said, these are tons of different products. If you have a question about any, again, please feel free to post. Um, the Smash, the Project Life book is the Maggie Holmes. I also got her core kit as well as her mini kit. Um, a lot of these are really neat. Actually, it's the big envelopes, the little envelopes, dividers. Um, I got this. It's the blush edition kit. Um, and then these are all really cool. I've I'm probably going to try to do a flip through of some of these just because I'm running out of time on my video and in my battery. But um, basically, I'll let you guys know how the whole Project Life thing turns out in a couple days, weeks maybe, because I work 40 hours, so it'll be a little difficult. Um, but I'll give an update as soon as I can. But hopefully, 
this is going to fix some of the problems that I'm running into between the two. Um, I'm really excited about this project and I can't wait to update you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you feel um, informed at the very least. Um, and I hope everyone has an awesome craftastic Monday. All right, guys, have a good day.